Memorial Day to most Americans today. I'm going to talk about a subject that is important and important to my heart. It is about my bullying experience and bullying in general. Um, like most kids, I went through bullying online and offline. Um, um, like when I since I was like about well, little. When I went into um, preschool, my parents said, oh, you'll make a bunch of friends. And um, I came into the school and I was shy. Um, no one wanted to play house with me. No one really wanted to play with me. And I felt alone. And that's how it was for me at daycare that... Um, even as I got older, I would play with myself. Um, when I wanted to play with the other girls, they would just not want to play with me. They would exclude, exclude me from the games. And I felt so angry that sometimes I blew up and got angry. And I was an angry little kid. Um, it was just not one of those experiences that I want to remember, um, and look back on. It just, I don't know what was wrong with me. Um, I, maybe I said the wrong things. I was shy and I was going through a lot. And at school, you know, um, I wasn't bullied to my face. I was just shy and I didn't talk to a lot of people. And I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. Um, I didn't have as much friends. And I just felt different for most kids my age. I was in special ed for um, English and math. And that made me feel different. And... Um, my parents' divorce didn't help. Um, I just felt alone. And then I had two good best friends that got me through things. And they helped me realize that I wasn't a loser. And they got me out of my shell for a while. I could talk to people finally in the sixth grade. And um, I was a little different, but it, it just felt like, you know, I was a normal teenager for once, or preteen. Um, then I went to middle school, and I was insecure, shy, and I kind of fell back on that. And But I had a good, good friends that were really nice to me, and a lot of good girlfriends to back me up, and a lot of people liked me. But then again, a um, few people made fun of me because... I don't know, because, um, probably because of their own in insecurities. You know how teenagers are. Um, they take it out on other people. Um, that's how bullying is, is people's own insecurity. They feel insecure, so they bully others. You gotta realize that even though bullies are, some bullies are evil and nasty, that they probably have problems of their own. And that's how they become a bully. They were bull probably bullied or something was going on in their home that made them, I'm not excusing their behavior, but that made them act out and stuff. But girls were really mean to each other. They talked behind each other's backs, um, beat each other up over boys, and it was usually over boys that girls hated each other for. And it's kind of sad because um, well, most of the boys are about like about four feet tall and kind of, you know, going through puberty, but they still kind of look like little kids. And I was like, why do you fight over little boys? But maybe I just didn't understand that. I just, I think fighting over a man is stupid anyway, so yeah. And then I went to high school, and 
that I was shy and um, I had some bullies, but actually I, in high school, um, um, I became the bully for um, a year and um, I was grumpy and I was angry and um, I was not fun to be around and um, I did something to somebody I regret doing and um, I found out after that happened that my mom, grandma died and I think that changed things and I decided I didn't want to be that bully. I didn't want to be that person and at the same time I was being bullied um, during science class and um, my dad kept telling me that um, I needed to ignore the bullies and stuff like that. Um, sophomore year, um, I really didn't give a care about high school or what the high school thought about me. It was just me and um, I was on the swim team and track. Um, I went to the homecoming dance, which was kind of boring. And I just did the high school thing, you know, went to dances, but I wasn't really into the high school. I had found internet forms, which um, I thought would, I'd find my own different people that would accept me and boy was I wrong because um, this one form I was young I was 16 17 to 18 to 19 to 21 um, I can't remember and um, I probably didn't um, have I didn't know quite as much as I do now about life and what not to say and what to say and what to keep private and when to shut my mouth on the form and I probably was annoying yeah but I was 16 to early 20s and I know that's not an excuse but some of the people there were really mean to me and bullied me on the form and um, it really I don't know why I let people who I don't know look at to me but it made me feel like I was a really crappy person or I must have been I must be really bad because a bunch of people don't let know me don't like me I don't know why that made a difference but um, I was about I was younger and um, now if somebody on the internet makes a comment about me about how and says nasty things about me I don't know them so I don't give a fuck what they think about me because all I know they could be a robot just talking because and but it's different when you're young and um, different have more, more sensitive to things. So I have been bullied online and in person and I have been a bully. And I think everybody has a bully story. Whether it's not very very mild um, or they have horror stories. Um, I think you know the problem with bullying is that it's gotten online. I mean, back in the days, you could come home and rest from the bullies. Now you have Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, um, Pinterest, um, Instagram, Live Journal, Forms. Um, what else is there? Um, e MySpace, if you still use that, there are all kinds of social medias, and for teenagers, they haven't quite developed the maturity. I've um, found out that 
around your teen years or college age years that you're still kind of developing and it's a really sensitive time and um, kids take things to heart, I did, and um, I think it's the parents' responsibility and the teachers and all the adults to make sure that the kids are safe and that things get, that things don't get out of hand. Because whenever I hear about a kid who kills himself because they don't want to live because of online bullying, it breaks my heart. I've tried to kill myself before and here I am, but many people don't have the same result and are died young because of bullying and, it, and it's preventable. I think, you know, uh, schools need to teach um, tolerance towards anyone. I mean, not just the LGBT community, but for kids with special needs, kids that are shy, kids that are overweight, kids that, kids that are smart get bullied. I mean, there's any reason um, a person can find to bully somebody, whether it's acne, LGBT, how they do in school, how they dress, what kind of income their family has, their culture background, their religion, what kind of music they listen to, what kind of movies they watch, anything, then a kid can get bullied for anything any little or big thing and I just wish people would focus on teaching kids tolerance that kids have learning disorders it doesn't mean they're um, slower it just means they learn differently that kids are gay, bisexual, transgendered, um, lesbian it doesn't mean they're creepy, it just means they're, they don't date boys and girls, like, go on boys and girl date. It doesn't mean they're different or horrible. It, they're the same peop, kind of people, just, um, my experience, um, being pansexual in high school was that I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody and I did a good job of it because no one knew I was in the boys for all they knew and um, it really bugged me when it I got turned on by another girl and my classmates or a friend or something and I would keep it to myself and um, I struggled with my sexuality all my life and it um I get turned on by women and men and anything in between and um I had to go to special ed and you know I was short and shy and I'm glad I made it through high school and middle school and stuff like that and I'm glad I didn't let that internet form bring me down because that really bothered me that um, people that don't know me, don't know my story, could say such horrible names. Call me horrible names. I was called every name in the book, like, on that form. And I would never allow my children to say what they, the, these 40-year-old men said to me on the um, form, I'm not going to say what form it was, but they call me all kinds of names, and I was crying, and the form leader, the guy who owned it, he called me names too, so he wasn't going to, he was my fault, and, um, but still, 
Um, you should not call somebody a cunt or a twat or a bitch because you disagree with them. That is unacceptable. And I say those words because that's what I was called. A twat, a bitch, a cunt, a whore, a hoe. Names you would not like to be called. Name, you they say bricks and bones, bricks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Trust me, words hurt a lot. And it gets, and it's hard to get over. Um, I no longer am a member of that form and the form's gone down. I mean, karma. You don't call people names. You'll call people you don't know because you think you don't know them. That it's okay to call them a cunt. That is not true. And in high school, um, don't pick on somebody because they might be different than you. They might um, go home that next night and shoot themselves. And you, you won't. I'm sure that's not going to be something you feel. Or even on a form, how would you like to find out that the girl you called all those names took a bunch of pills and died? I think that would be really an awful feeling because bullying does lead to suicide. It's an awful thing, but it does. People should not affect your life like that, but it does. This is my personal story about my bullying. It's a long form because bullying is kind of like one of those things. This is one of the journeys I've been through and I'm a stronger person because of it. And yes, I have tried to kill myself like a couple times and I'm still here. And I'm glad I'm still here because I can help people going through a rough time. And I pray that bullying ends and I hope if you're going through bullying, um, that you find that light find something you like find something that keeps you going and remember the people who love you and are care for you are more more of light than the people that don't like you and don't respect you the people that don't like you and don't respect you shouldn't mean anything it's hard harder than easier said than done but yeah and parrots should be control what their kids do on the media and what's going on at the school with their kids and teachers should be on the same level. No kid should have to kill themselves at 17 because of bullying. Trust me.